So for, for three valve, three servo, if you need to change in the servo, only each one four screws, yeah? You remove, the servo can be disconnected quickly. So four screw removed, this one can directly pull out. You will see it's a square connection to the valve block. So this square one is with tools inside for the servo shaft to be binding together. This one is a steel one. And let's see the well block. So this two screw holding the servo frame to the well block and the well turning this shaft is connection with this one part of the piston inside with this square connection. So now I will remove to see inside. So two screw remove, this is the servo frame remove. You will see that's the smart design of the curved steel valve. So these two are same, yeah? But only here nozzle connection directly on top. This is also on top, but this one got because a splitter, yeah? Because for the big arm have two cylinders, so one more splitter. So I, if I remove this big screw here, I will remove this one. So top, that's the splitter, one to two. That's in and out, or your channel go inside for splitting to four holes. That's in and out, yeah. And if you will change in direction, another one will be in and out. So now I will open to see inside the valve how it is. That's the top in and out, yeah. That's the servo shaft connection here. This end, four screws removed, I already losing it. Then we can open the cover. Okay, turn around. First screw removed, pull out. That's the cover seal, yeah. And here, middle curve, piston. One more step to remove it, one more screw here. To stop the piston inside to turn free, use the island key, then I can unscrew this screw. So then I can see inside the piston shape. The screw has been removed, so now the piston inside for rotation, open channel, then push it out, yeah, so that's out, you will see, inside the channel, yeah, so this side have one O-ring, and this side no O-ring, yeah, because it's sealed by this O-ring and the cover. That's the piston. So you will see, I will clean the oil. Okay, now you can see clearly, so the piston should be inside. At this position to compare the oil channel, that's the main oil supply inlet, that's the return line. So inlet in the middle, inside this block here, have one oil channel inside. So if I turn it around, you will see, in the middle, here has three hole. In the middle, it's connecting, from this side, connecting with the inlet channel, go to the valve. So now we will see also at this side, yeah, also three hole here. Middle that's connecting to this side. From this side, see is left side, return line. So this side, middle, inlet. This side, middle, inside have one hole for return line. So let's reverse to see this valve inside should be this position. So inlet always connecting here, it's always open, and leading to another valve. Return line always leading to the return line here, all the way through, yeah? So always leading to all the valve blocks. So imagine you can connect two, three, five valve together, in and out, it's always connected. Only in the middle, inside this hole, when this block, inside piston, small turning, now it's all closed. Imagine the hole is this screwdriver, it's here, it's not open. When the valve piston turning to this hole position, V-shape, now already slightly open, the oil slowly going inside. The V-shape turning and open more, more oil going inside and more, more, now, until now, this hole is directly with this slot, so all the oil channel now is open. That's the fastest speed. So when you slowly close, 
it's slowly speed down, slowing down, slowing down, until this V-shape not to the hole, all the channel now is closed. So from this side, turning, all you're going slowly in, and if we turn it to other side, I will turn around. Other side is vertical, yeah? we have four V-shape. So if we turn it from this side, see, that's vertical to top. Middle, that's the return line, yeah? Middle, that's the return line inside the hole. So when you turn it, yeah, here, bottom, the return line, re imagine this screw driver, that's the return line hole in the middle. So the return line, when you turn it now in the middle, vertical middle, return line close, inlet also close. So when inlet slowly open, here the V-shape to return line is also slightly open, or you slightly return. That's how it's working. So you will see this side corresponding vertically, yeah, 180 degree is corresponding to this return line. So when turning reverse, this side, another way, yeah, is corresponding to this V-shape. So they are 180 degree is uh, corresponding to open and close for inlet and the return line. So that's the V-shape design, slowly open the oil inlet and also return line, V-shape, turning another way, slowly open the return line. That's how you control, so the oil go to the cylinder, slowly speed up, so you can control with a even cheap radio. The speed, you can slowly increase. That's the smart design of the V-shape curve open the valve channel.